we're good. Hi everyone, it's Kyle with Range on RV and thanks for tuning in to our live virtual event. Um, right now we're going to take some time to check out the Palominis and then we also have a Solaire. The Palominis uh, by Palomino Forest River are the mini version of the Solaire. This particular one is a 186 RBS, so a rear bathroom with a slide. Um, it's a couples trailer or non-bunk model. Some really cool features about this guy. Um, it comes in as an eight foot wide body, as you'll see on the inside, so there's tons of room, but it's really short at just under 22 feet tip to tip. Dry weight is at 4,000 pound mark. So if you're looking for something small, but with tons of room, because it's a little bit wider, this is a really great option. We're gonna go around on the outside, check out some features, then we'll head on inside and go over the floor plan in there. So starting with construction with the Palomini series, it's built exactly like our Rockwood products. So you have a six-sided aluminum frame cage um, with a vacuum bonded fiberglass on the outside. Um, the main thing is there's no wood in the roof structure. In your flooring is a 5 8 tongue and groove plywood flooring. So compared to like a chipboard or press board, if for whatever reason you did get water touch your floor there, it's not gonna expand and break down over time. The exterior is a high gloss gel coat finish. So if you um, compare it to different models out there, when you look at the finish of the fiberglass, you can see the fibers woven in there. With the Palomini and the Solaire, you're getting a higher gloss finish, kind of like a boat, so it's gonna fade less over time on this one. With your axles, you're gonna get a torsion flex axle system, just like the Rockwoods do as well too. What that means to you is that, um, in, compared to a leaf spring system, both axles are independent compared to one system moving together. So it's gonna be less road shock when you're driving down the road um, and less wear and tear overall on this coach. Standing, I'm standing underneath the awning. So you have a full length awning on this uh, 22 foot trailer. A really cool thing they do differently is they actually put the LED lights on the awning arms instead of by the door strip there. So when your awning's out, you're lighting your campground and, and not up your trailer there. Standard are gonna be the Moride solid flip down steps. So when you get in and out of the trailer, we don't have any of the stab jacks down right now. Things aren't gonna be rocking or moving about. So it's a really nice finish. You have some out outdoor speakers that are backlit with blue LED lights and some auxiliary plugs in the back. So one thing I missed as well is um, going back to the construction is your Asdell finish. So behind this fiberglass, traditionally there used to be a thin piece of wood called Luon, uh, but now they're using a man-made product which is Asdell. It's kind of a, a plastic-based product that's a board, a fiber board. What that means is if water ever does penetrate your sidewall, a normal wood product would absorb it and expand, and that's where you get delamination in your sidewall. With that, the water can't wreck the glue bond with your fiberglass, therefore you cannot get delamination, mold, and it won't break down over time on it. Let's move up here to the front. You're gonna have a big pass-through storage area. This is under the bed. Um, this is a Murphy bed floor plan. Little things that you usually don't see in a single axle trailer um, is large slam latch baggage doors. Usually you have the two smaller silver ones. And then you got the magnet clips up there. So if you're coming in with one hand, you can lift it up, put your stuff in there instead of trying to clip it with two hands, which is really often. Now check this out on the front. This is a massive full length um, fiberglass front molded cap. And from the manufacturer comes uh, Linex or Rock Guard um, straight from the manufacturer. So rock chips, debris, anything like that's gonna be protected. A lot of other brands out there are gonna give you a three quarter cap. So you're gonna have the ch uh, checker plate start here and go down. This is a full length fiberglass cap. Now what that means to you is um, where the seals connect to the roof, instead of having a piece of fiberglass that's folded down, you get a lot of stress of it wanting to try to break away on the roof there. This is molded, it fits nice and snug. You put your seal on top there. Um, over time, it doesn't want to pull away, so there's a less likely chance of um, water leaks or cracks up there. And you can actually pack some more insulation into this guy. You have a full uh, fiberglass, or sorry, uh, front automotive grade windshield up here. So again, it's just like your windshield. If you did get a rock chip, you can get it filled, but we also offer a great 3M protection to help limit those rock chips. But inside the trailer, you see it brings in tons of natural light into the unit. You have your standard front power tongue jack, 20 pound propane tank, and you have room for two batteries behind there in the front A-frame of, of the coach. Swing around this side does come standard with the battery disconnect up here because there is a solar panel on the roof. It's about a 100 watt panel from the manufacturer, but you do have a controller that's able to upgrade to a second 100 watt panel. 
Uh, you got your hot, hot water tank. This guy is a six gallon uh, gas and electric hot water tank. So what that means is it's gonna be a quicker recovery rate when you're using both sources of energy. So if you wanna take back to back showers, you have that option. Your slide out on this guy um, is gonna be a Schwintech system, but even your slide out walls are going to be um, bonded together so it gives you a lot more structural integrity instead of um, if you come and push on the sidewall a lot of brands will just have this piece hung on here um, but a lot of the structure comes from it being laminated together um, all six sides or five sides of it coming all the way back here you have your sewer dump station this is your solar prep on the side uh, for your portable system so if you have a portable panel you can plug it in here you have another one of these on the roof so you can add depending where you're camping the sunlight and stuff like that you can play with your solar options uh, standard is your black tank flush so when you're hooked up to a sewer site or when you go to dump your trailer you're gonna hook your water hose up to there um, and it flushes out, it's like a dishwasher for your black tank, leaving things a lot cleaner. On the roof, to, uh, while we're mentioning, um, standard is gonna be a roof rack, so it's gonna be hard to see on that. You might be able to see on that one over there. But what it is, is like a Thule system on your car, you can add in um, you know, a kayak carrier. If you wanna bring your bikes up there, you can, or put extra storage container. Snowboard, ski, if you take it out in the winter. So the options are there, uh, but that's on the roof. The roof membrane itself is a TPO uh, me uh, membrane compared to like a vinyl or rubber roof so it's a lot stronger more durable and thicker so you're they're encouraged they don't encourage but are building it meaning that you're going up there using your roof rack system and your solar options on there on the back here is the outside shower so you have hot and cold water on the outside and there's a quick connect for your propane accessories if you have a little barbecue or fireplace you can plug it in directly there now come on inside we'll check out the floor plan Good. All right, we'll shut the door so the little road noise isn't coming in. So inside the Palomini here, the 184 RB, um, the floor plan is really spacious. You have your dinette slide, but we're gonna start up front here on the front Murphy bed. So in a smaller trailer, um, you wanna give um, items multi-purpose, right? So they give you a Mur Murphy bed, so in a small trailer, you have a couch and a dinette. If you're stuck in here on a rainy day um, or want to hang out, watch a movie, you have that option. But it's an easy flip down. I'll do it after it flips the bed down. But this uh, style of couch is pretty cool. So the two cushions down here can slide out. They're kind of free floating. So they can be a footrest too. You can put your feet up. And then you have some built in storage down below. And then those are on both sides there. Um, to make it into a bed, this couch is going to fold flat. And you just push down the cushions here. And then your mattress is just gonna fold right back up. And there you have your full, this is a full queen size bed. Going back to um, being an eight foot wide trailer, um, which you don't normally see in these small single axe category, they're able to fit a full 60 by 80 bed in here without it feeling cramped. Where normally small little trailers like this would be like an RV queen or like in between a queen and a double. There's some funky sizes out there for mattresses. Um, you have your nice big window up front there that's bringing in lots of natural light, but you do have a curtain for privacy. You have outlets on either side of the bed and some uh, excuse me, some USB 12 volt chargers up there. And then you can just pop your bed back up. And you have your social area. Also, sorry, I didn't mention when the bed was down, you can still leave the bed in the down position all the time when you're camping. You can still get in and out of the trailer. Um, so a lot of people, if they're like, oh no, I hate Murphy beds. Hey, not a problem. Just leave it down all the time and you would never know it's Murphy bed. Or if you want to switch up the mattress, you have that capability as well too. Um, up above here, you do have a built-in power fan for some airflow. Um, all storage cabinets, hanging wardrobes on either side. Store cabinet, small little things as well too, is like putting a hinge in here so it stays open. Um, but a lot of other brands you'll see is just kind of an open shelf up here. So you actually have room to tuck things away um, and they're out of sight. Two windows, so with the fan and both windows on either side open, so you have tons of airflow in your bedroom. Um, at nighttime, if you're sleeping, just close that so don't forget. Um, then I'll swing around here to talk about the dinette. 
Yeah, it's all good. So you do have a four person dinette here. It is on your slide, uh, which is about a two foot deep slide there. So again, you're getting tons of room, but this is also gonna turn into additional sleeping area. So if you do have some guests along, I mean, two adults, if they really like each other, um, easily two kids, if you've got grandkids coming along, because this is a couple's model. And then below, you're gonna have nice big storage area. So this is the full length of the dinette underneath there. Um, you can put all your large items in there. Windows, all of them open in this trailer. Tons of airflow, tons of natural light coming around. And I'll switch around here. A little extra kitchen pantry. Again, small trailer storage is so important. So you have your kitchen pantry storage here. And behind me here, um, a lot of changes has ha have happened in the industry in the last couple of years with fridges. So this one is an eight cubic foot gas and electric RV fridge. So a lot of uh, brands are switching to a 12 volt fridge, um, which again, if that doesn't match your camping style or if you're not fully um, sold on it or believe in the 12 volt, it still is a great fridge. Um, but if it doesn't go with your camping style, this is a great option to have the 12 uh, or the gas and electric option. And being an eight cubic first, eight cubic feet versus a six cubic feet is you're getting that more cold storage in a small trailer which even some trailers this size are still putting in the small bar fridges in these right so cold storage is super important above me here is your ac unit um, so built-in air conditioning um, all your controls are on here small little trailer like this will get nice and cold really quick in the kitchen over here um, you got some additional storage, but I'll touch on um, the TST system that comes with this, um, along with our Rockwood products, um, Cedar Creeks, coming some of the other brands, a lot of brands are doing this. So on a single axle, um, the, well, on any trailer, the number one cause of blowouts is gonna be tire pressure, right? So this allows you to monitor your tire pressure and your tire temperature. So when you're towing, if you know something's going on, you can react to it a little bit quicker, but also have the correct pressure when you're towing. Into the kitchen, you have a flush uh, stove top here with a two burner. Down below is your microwave, uh, which this guy is just your traditional microwave. I'll see if it's a convection or not. But yeah, you got your microwave here, two big drawers, full extension. It's just a little bit cold, so they're sticky. And then you have this massive stainless steel sink here. Um, you can put all your hot pots and pans in there. It's not a plastic material, or if you want to use half of it, um, these are pretty cool sink covers. Allows you to put half your dishes there to allow them to dry and stuff. Into the bathroom. So the RB is a rear bathroom. So this whole rear wall um, is a bathroom. Starting on this side, again, storage, super important on these smaller trailers. Got a full linen closet here, towels, extra storage, bedroom. Um, below the sink, you have some space. You also got your water pump down there behind those utility access panels. <clears throat> and they give you storage behind your medicine cabinet instead of just putting a mirror in here. Little small feature, this is a porcelain foot flush toilet, so it's not a plastic guy. Uh, a little bit sturdier, easier to clean. And then I'm a bigger guy for reference too, about 6'4", can still stand in here really nice. Um, I guess if I want, you can get the shower here. So they do a corner shower, any travel trailer, I'm touching the roof in these guys, but they give you the skylight so you ha still have some room to get in here. Um, but your shower base is all reinforced, so super sturdy. Um, and then you got your curtain. So tons of room to shower. I'll pop out of here. That sums up the, the 184 RBS. We're gonna be checking out the bunk model Palomini next. Um, same features, just a different floor plan, but come on over there, follow me, we'll check that one out. Okay, the next uh, Palomini that we're gonna check out right now is the 189 uh, BH. So very similar to the 184 RB that we were in, but this one's gonna be a bunk model, so with a dinette slide. Uh, we'll go over some of the outside features again. If you're just tuning in, welcome to our live uh, virtual RV show happening this weekend, February 17th uh, to 20th here at our Red Deer um, dealership and at Calgary as well too. So starting with the construction of the Palomini, you have a six-sided aluminum frame cage, so there's no wood in your framing. Um, your floor is a 5 8 tongue and groove uh, plywood, so it's not a particle or a press board. And then behind, behind your high gloss gel coat finish here, uh, you're going to have an Asdell backing, which is awesome. So it's going to very highly decrease your chances of delamination or having mold or water issues with the coach if you ever do get water in here. Um, and then, yeah, touching on that high gloss finish, over time it's going to look, you know, like a boat, marine grade, really shine and not fade um, and look beautiful for a long time. 
Uh, standard are your more ride steps. Uh, so when you get in and out of your trailer, there's gonna be no bounce on it whatsoever. So if the kids are sleeping inside and you're running in and out for maybe a beverage while you're out camping, they're not gonna wake them up. Um, your axle systems on these ones, sorry these tires are a little bit muddy, but your axles are gonna be a torsion flex axle system. So what that means to you is that when you're towing, uh, especially in a single axle, um, your leaf spring system, so your traditional leaf spring, both wheels move at the same time. The torsion is all both independent, so it reduces your road shock. Um, the trailer's gonna last a lot longer, all your stuff's not gonna be flying around. It's a smoother overall tow as well um, for sway. And this comes with a 10 year uh, limited warranty on their axle system. And there is a tire pressure system, which I'll show you inside the TST. Coming around the front, uh, you got your massive awning. This trailer comes in at 22 feet, nine inches and just a little over 4,000 dry. So you have this huge awning on this guy that's gonna cover your whole campsite. Also, little thing is you can open your door all the way when your awning's out. There's a lot of brands where the awning arm will be kind of be right here. So this is a great option to have the awning all the way out, doors open. This is where you're spending most of your time out on this one. Up front here you do have a little storage compartment. Traditionally this is where you see a big storage compartment on a trailer. Uh, because of the Murphy bed style, I'll show you where your outside storage is. Don't worry, you still get plenty. On the front here you have this massive full fiberglass cap from top to bottom and it's Linexed. Uh, straight from the manufacturer to prevent from rock chips. Um, and up front is your automotive grade windshield. This brings in a ton of natural light into the trailer, uh, which we'll see on the inside. And just like a windshield, if you ever did get a rock chip in this, you can get it filled. Or we do offer a 3M film that you can put on there to help protect um, and expand the life of the windshield. Backside here you have your gas and electric hot water tanks. So this is a six gallon fast recovery unit. With both sources on, you're gonna get about 20 gallons per hour recovery rate. What that means to you is you can have showers back to back. If you got the kids in there, you have that option. Your slide outs, if you bang out on your slide out walls, all the slide out walls are gonna be laminated together uh, to give it a better structural integrity. So it's not just a hung piece of fiberglass here. Um, it's actually laminated for extra strength on this guy. Coming to the back side here, here's the massive storage area that I was talking about. So this is under one of the rear bunks here. So a really big area, could be a mother-in-law suite, you could throw the cooler in there, uh, kids bikes, toys, all those good stuff. Also another thing that you don't see on smaller single axle trailers, touching again is the slam latch baggage doors. Um, this is what you see on your high end fifth wheels instead of those small little metal clips. So if you want to shut it, it's great on live TV, just slam shut just like that. Up top there, uh, on the roof, it is equipped with a solar panel, so it's 100 watts from the manufacturer. Um, you also have a roof rack, which is pretty cool. You don't see on many trailers. Uh, so if you want to add a Thule storage system, bike racks, kayaks, uh, ski or snowboard, you have that option uh, to put some accessories up there or for extra storage. You're going to be prepped for solar additionally on the roof and on the side here too. So depending where you're camping, you can plug in your portable solar panel. And the roof membrane itself is a TPO membrane. I think some brands are a lifetime with it, some brands are 20 year limited warranty on it. But what it means is it's a stronger material than your rubber or your vinyl roofs. So they know you're going to be on the roof using that roof rack, uh, so you're going to be covered going up and on there. Uh, black tank flush is standard on this guy. It's like a dishwasher for your black tank. And then you do have an outside shower, so if you want to hose the kids off out here, you have that option. Propane disconnect is down here. Ooh, and another little feature is a two inch auxiliary uh, hitch. So if you do, sorry, we got a new camera guy here too with us. Um, if you do want to put a bike rack, you can put one in there um, or a flip down rack. Uh, bikes are the most common thing. It's good for about 250, 300 pounds on that guy. Uh, but come on inside, we'll check out the inside of this floor plan. I'll let you head in and then I'll come in after. I'll shut the door. The highway's so loud here. All right, so up front, um, going back to Palomini is an eight foot wide box. Um, so tons of room in this small trailer. Again, they're gonna give you a full uh, 60 by 80 queen bed. Now it's in the Murphy bed in the down position. They don't do a walk around bed because then you're gonna get too long. You're gonna be you know, over that 24, 20 foot mark and then you're getting into a whole nother category of trailer. So you still have your full queen bed. Um, in the down position, you can still use the trailer, super functional, but say if it's raining, kids want to be in here and play, you guys all want to hang out, have a spot to sit, you can flip this up and turn it into 
a couch as well too. So this couch is going to lift up. Then they do give you these um, handy little armrests if you want to add those in after or you can leave them out. But then you're going to have a full couch in here. So most of the time when you're camping, you're out using the underneath your awning. But if it is raining, pop your bed out. You got a place to sit. You kids can play games there. You can sit, throw on a movie, spend the time. Down below here, um, you're going to have a good chunk of storage. So you can lift it up here or you can pop this access panel and get into it there. Swinging around to the dinette area. Four, a true four person dinette with storage below. This is going to turn into additional sleeping area, but it being on a slide gives you that four person dinette. In a bunk model, there's going to be, you know, three to four people in here. So you guys can all sit at the table together, have a meal, play a game uh, without having just two people here and two people sitting on a bed, right? So tons of seating in this floor plan. <coughs> Touching on to when the bed's down, do you have outlets on either side? Some additional storage up top here for clothes. And then both windows are going to open for airflow. And you do have a, a power roof fan, fan up here um, built in. So tons of airflow in a smaller single axle trailer. Flipping around with you. Just like we saw in the last one here, there's a good use of uh, storage here. So, you know, Palomini could just put a blank wall here, uh, would be more cost effective, but they want to focus on a better experience for the customer. So they are putting additional storage here. So you could have a pantry, extra games, food, all the good stuff they bring camping. Swinging over to the kitchen. So this guy is going to be um, fridges again in the Palomini's are going to be your gas gas and electric eight cubic foot RV fridge. Um, so if you're not a fan of the 12 volt, if you haven't got on board or if it doesn't match your camping style and you need a gas electric, these are a great option for that. Um, up top, you have some additional storage. And like we talked about outside, they come with the TST tire pressure monitoring system. So for a single axle trailer, um, watching your tire pressure is super important. Uh, it's going to limit your chances of having a blowout. So it's going to give you your tire pressure and temperature in this right to the inside of your vehicle uh, to make sure that you're towing safe. All Forest River trailers also come with uh, one year free roadside assistance um, and your tires actually have a five year warranty on them too. Um, into your kitchen, really good prep space. So this is set up as a prep area. Maybe you're cooking outside, you got all your plates out here. Um, in a small coach, you know, storage and counter space is so important. So, but if you do want to cook, you have your two burner stove in here. If you want to make some craft dinner or pasta for the kids. And then if you're doing dishes, this is going to flip up. You can use half the sink, dry half, or just pull this all the way and you have a really big stainless steel sink in there. Uh, so it's not plastic or won't melt or anything like that if you put your hot pan. Uh, you are prepped to put a TV, install a little TV in you if, if you want to put one in there. Range line, we don't include TVs with our smaller trailers, just match your lifestyle. Some people like them, some people don't use them. Uh, you got two big drawers down below here for all your cutlery. And then I get a lot of people ask, like, what's this dead space? Why didn't they put a drawer there? Um, it's because the sink is behind there, right? So they're giving you, it's always a trade-off in RVs. So you get a nice big deep sink, but you lose a top drawer, right? So always a give and take with the fine storage. But beside the fridge here, unlike the last one we're in, there's going to be a full pantry. So you can split this space up for storage for the kids um, or your kitchen goodies or for the adults as well, too. We'll do the bathroom and then we'll finish with the bunks. In the bathroom, um, porcelain foot flush toilet, uh, so no plastic. Again, little touches, something like that you wouldn't really think about until you had an RV or maybe your second time buyer, more experienced. So that's what the kind of catering tour is, is a second time buyer. Um, behind over to the side here is going to be a full um, tub, surround, tub surround shower. It's nice and tall. I'm a bigger guy, so. It's still squeezing here, um, obviously with the skylight, but you still have a shower. You do have a bit of a basin in the bottom there. I do have a lot of families ask about, you know, bathing their kids or anything like that. It doesn't have a full tub, but a really good solution is throw a rubber made in there and then you're good to go. I'll jump out of here and then I'll jump out if you want to zoom in on the bunk beds there. So you do have two single over single bunks. They're a little bit wider than your traditional single. Uh, but tons of room for the kids. They each have their own light. Also, each window opens top and bottom. So you don't have to pick your favorite kid who gets the window. 
and who gets some airflow. Really nice option. So this is the 189BH Pala Mini series. Um, if you're just tuning in, thanks for tuning in to our live virtual show. The next trailer we're gonna be looking at is gonna be our Solaire, which is their bigger line, full-size tandem axle. It's gonna be a bunk model, the 243S. Come follow me, I'll meet you over there. All right, the last trailer in our series we're gonna be checking out is a full-size Solaire by Palomino. This is the 243BHS. Comes in at just under 29 feet, tip to tip, and 50, 700 pounds dry weight here as it sits. So perfect for a half ton towable. It has a U-shaped dinette slide out, double over double bunks, front master king bed. But let's start on the outside um, right here with your huge outside kitchen. Going back to camping, you go camping because you want to be outside, right? The trailer gives you the amenities if you need it, if it's there, the comforts of home, but a good chunk of your time is going to be outside. I know for me, when I'm out camping, I'm always going in and out to grab drinks. So it's super nice to have an outside fridge, especially with the bunk model, kids are grabbing stuff. It's right there at your campsite. Just come and grab it. You're not going in and out tracking mud in the trailer. And if you have kids, usually you need to wash your hands, have a water source, really nice to have on the outside. You'll notice that this is all a galvanized steel, so it's meant to be outside, outside and exposed to the elements. It's not gonna break down like a wood product or anything like that. And then on the back side, there is a quick connect for a propane line. We'll swing around after. So if you have a barbecue or a little auxiliary fireplace or you know a nice Coleman grill, you can bring that stuff with you, plug it in, and you're feeding off your front bottles. You don't have to bring your own bottles with you. They give you the largest awning that they can put on this trailer. Um, so from literally end till end, they couldn't put it past that storage compartment there. So you have full awning coverage on this trailer. I'm um, touching on your axle system down here. This is gonna be a torsion axle system again. And so a tandem axle now, but each axle is gonna be independent suspension versus that leaf spring. So it's a really smooth tow, less road shock. And then you partnered with your TST tire pressure system in there. It's a really nice travel trailer option. Uh, this one's constructed, constructed the same as our Palominis, but if you're just tuning in, thanks for checking out our live virtual show. The construction on this is gonna be six-sided aluminum frame, vacuum bonded fiberglass, and you have a 5 8 tongue and groove uh, plywood flooring on the decking there. Uh, fully enclosed heated underbelly with electric heat pads on your tanks, uh, paired with a really high gloss gel coat finish on your exterior um, that makes this a really great sounding trailer. Uh, you got outside speakers, auxiliary plugins. Uh, this is going to be your front storage compartment, so it's not quite a pass-through um, because I'll show you on the other side, they give you a really cool feature which you normally only see on fifth wheels. Um, it is a 30 amp trailer, your cord comes with it, you got an auxiliary light. All your storage compartment doors are going to be that slam latch baggage door instead of the small clips. And you have nice magnets, one hand, put your stuff in there. Um, up front here, you're going to have your fiberglass front cap. It does come with two 20 pound propane tanks. We just have them off here on the lot. And with all our trailers here at Rangeland, they come with a 12 volt battery for free. So your front molded cap up here, uh, a fiberglass cap is awesome compared to, um, you know, flexed piece of fiberglass on there. So it connects nice and even to the roof line there. You can seal it up. Um, it's just a superior construction. And then you also have a little bit more insulation in your front cap here. Up front, you also have the front automotive grade windshield. Uh, so it brings in tons of natural light into that front bedroom. And if you're worried about rock chips, debris, or anything like that, you can get it filled just like a normal windshield, or we can put a 3M protected film on there for you. Then below you have your rock guard. Now check this out. This is something normally you only see on your larger fifth wheel units. So in a travel trailer, get your battery disconnect and then your service station here. So all your cords are gonna be fed through the hole in the floor. Uh, and then you got your hot water or your city water connections. You can winterize from here. You have a hot and cold water taps. You can also control your water pump from out here, making winterization super easy, or if you just want to use this. It's all enclosed and protected from the elements too um, in there, so you don't have everything on out of the trailer. Just a cleaner look. Hot water tank is a six gallon fast recovery, um, electric and propane, gives you about 20 gallons per hour. So if kids wanna have back to back showers, you're gonna have that option. Banging on your slide out walls. So this slide out is a rack and pinion. This is your dinette slide and your fridge in here. 
Um, all your slide out walls are going to be laminated so when you're at your pallet mini come bang on it you can feel that six sided structure in your slide out to be five sided. Back corner here so this unit is prepped two places with solar. So you have solar prep on the side here so you can plug in extra panels. And it's also solar ready on the roof there. So you have the same outlet here. You can plug your trailers in or your solar panels on the roof there um, to add solar to this guy. It is a 30 amp trailer. Uh, we just got it plugged into the cord there. On the back you have a two inch auxiliary um, hitch which is great because then you can add um, a bike rack, uh, flip down storage racks, lots of tons of options. They're rated between 250 and 300 pounds. Um, so if you have those big e-bikes you can throw them on there. And then this is your propane quick connect that we touched on as well too. Come on you going inside first and I'll follow you in there. We're checking out the 243 BHS Pala or Solaire by Palomino. I'll shut the door there so we don't get so much road noise. All right, welcome inside. So this trailer, under 30, for, under 30 feet and half ton towable with the double bunks. So we'll start right by the door here. Uh, you have your double over double bunks. Both have a window that open for airflow. So again, kids don't have to fight which one you like more or which ones want to breathe. Um, this also flips up for a nice big storage area. So coolers, big items that all the kids bring with you, you can tuck them in there. Um, the top and the bottom have their own charging station. So you have a 12 volt USB port and 110 outlets on individual plugs. And they can both control their uh, light switches on there and independent curtains. Believe it or not, um, some brands will just do one curtain all the way down and I've had people come in and complain about it and ask to swap it up because the kids are fighting, they want it open, want it closed. It's little things, little things like that. Jumping into the bathroom, um, so you got a nice big radius shower. Um, the, on the shower curtain here, they give you the radius one instead of the straight, um, so you can get in there um, and, and then feel you're not like having the shower curtain stick to your leg and stuff like that, so you have some extra room in here. If you're just tuning into height reference about 6'4", so any shower in a travel trailer, I'm in the roof there. Um, up top, you have a Max Air fan. These fans are amazing. Um, again, any second, second time buyer or experienced RVer, this is a must have for your trailer. So this guy's gonna move 900 cubic feet of air. It's gonna suck all that air out of your trailer um, in 90 seconds. So what that means is when you pull up to a hot, your campsite, this thing's a hot box, turn your fan on, it's sucking out all the hot air, turn your AC on, it's gonna get down in temperature a lot faster. Or in Alberta camping, um, when it gets so cool at night, just leave this on the lowest setting, just circulates airflow throughout the trailer so you don't need to run your AC all night too. Really big chunk of counter space here. Again, they're trying to maximize as much storage as you can. All your cabinetry in is in here is real wood. Small little things you don't really think about. It's hidden hinge as well too, so really residential upgraded. Um, you have a medicine cabinet, and I'll jump out of here. Being a bunk model, um, you know, there's gonna be many people in here, more likely. So you do have the U-shaped dinette, uh, which does fold down into an additional sleeping area, which is gonna be um, about seven foot long. Two adults can fit comfortably in a U-shaped dinette, or whole family sitting there playing games, cards, having breakfast in the morning. All, again, all windows open for airflow. Something that you see normally in higher end fifth wheels is your roller shades. So full blackout roller shade on these guys, it's not a vinyl curtain or fabric, um, total blackout with that. And then finishing your slide off here is gonna be your refrigerator. So again, on all these ones that we have here in stock, they're all 12 volt, oh not 12 volts, sorry, gas electric eight cubic foot. So again, if the 12 volt doesn't fit your camping style or if you're not fully sold on it, they're a great fridge. We have them in a lot of our brands, but if you definitely need a gas electric, this is a great option here as well. And a little bit bigger than your traditional six cubic foot. Um, coming over to this side. So this is gonna be your kitchen. Um, kind of things that bring, just like your house, what brings it up another level is gonna be your countertops, right? So solid surface countertops in this guy, so there's no press membrane or tea molding that can crack or get water in there. RVs go through a lot, going through the elements, the hot and the cold, um, bouncing down the road, the earthquake on wheels, the wind blowing at it, right? So having one less thing to, to crack open or fail um, is really nice. And also if you're cutting or cooking on here, it's really easy to clean. This is gonna be your stainless steel sink. Uh, massive 
under mounted sink. They do give you this cool cover so you can still use it as a drying rack and still have half your sink there with your high rise faucet. Really good L shape so if you're bringing the coffee maker along or the air fryer you still have area to prep. Um, all again, all the cabinetry is real wood. Full extension drawers, roller glides, um, all your plywood, so no particle or press board in these guys. And then you have an oven, glass top again, so it's not raised. It's pretty standard in the industry now. There's still some that don't. But you have your nice three burner cooktop with a light inside the oven. And this one, if you have an older RV, you can light your oven um, by the sparker up here. So you're not in there playing with death, trying to light your oven, holding the lighter. To finish off the kitchen, this is gonna be a good chunk of storage here. So really deep, this could be a um, kitchen pantry, pots, pans, uh, maybe some kids' accessories. They're all gonna get thrown in there for when you're out camping. And they're all prepped for a TV. Uh, we don't include TVs with our trailers here at Range Sun, um, but we'd be happy to help you out install one there. Sneaking into the bedroom. So this is a king size bed. Most travel trailers are gonna have a queen, an RV queen, but hey, if you guys do not like cuddling and want the king size in a travel trailer, this is a great option. You don't see this very often. You're still getting storage on either side of the bed. So you still have hanging storage. And then you do have your 110 outlets and a 12 volt outlet in the headboard there. Again, roller shades in the bedroom with windows that open. And if we sneak under there. There's a good chunk of storage underneath the bed there too. Big empty space if you wanna to put totes. Um, big items, you have that area. Little things in trailers like a gas strut. It's not hard to do, but a lot of guys miss that point. So they're really catering towards that, that second time or experienced buyer. That's a quick walkthrough of the Palomini. Um, if you guys wanna come on down, we're open all weekend long, extended hours. Check our website out for more information. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome to the Range on RV's virtual RV show, and we hope to see you down.